This week, when saints go marching. Littles Lake is a charming natural oasis quaintly tucked into 25 acres of serenity just two miles from campus. Littles Lake is really near and dear to my heart. I grew up there. This idyllic spot is perfect for boating and fishing and just spending time on the water. Or at least, it used to be. I noticed throughout the years that there had kind of been a problem. The lake started smelling a little bit weird. We started noticing more algae, more duckweed. The algae is now choking the life out of Littles Lake, and the oasis is off limits. Well, that just wasn't going to work for Isabel. We were racking our brains during the semester of how can we make this happen? It's quite a big idea. I think with all the support that the Sienna community gives, I think that was how we were able to do it. What they did was come up with a plan to save Little's Lake. Iris, Iris. Floating wetlands are platforms planted with vegetation designed to float in ponds or lakes. They act as a natural filtration system, absorbing excess nutrients and reducing pollutants. Isabel pitched the idea to Mary Beth Collisvery, Professor of Environmental Studies and Sciences. I talked to Dr. Kay and she was super enthusiastic and she really just fostered that kind of growth and knowledge of like wanting to do a project and wanting to get hands-on experience. They recruited Joel Singh to help. With the three of us combined, it feels like we have more than three people in our group physically. We have more like 20 people in our minds. This mighty team is collaborating with the stewards of the lake, and that partnership is facilitated through SPIN, Siena's Summer Project Incubator. SPIN is supported through the university's Center for Academic Community Engagement and connects faculty and students with community organizations in multi-year experiential learning research projects. SPIN has been super supportive in helping us along the way and getting this project going. Isabel began her college career elsewhere, but felt unfulfilled. I really wanted more hands-on experience and I thought I wasn't getting that in my last college. And then I came to Siena and I realized there's so much great opportunities with professors and research. And best of all, the research can be anything, whatever your passion might be, including a lake that needed someone to save it. Honestly, I couldn't imagine any other better like field work that I could have done. My passion is water quality and doing it all together was great. It's just wonderful that I had such a great professor to mentor me along the way. It's too early to tell the full impact of their work. We don't know exactly what our results are yet, but we have very promising hope that these floating wetland plants will help improve the overall water quality. And just the opportunity to make that kind of a difference, it's what this education is all about. Personally, this has been one of the greatest projects I've been a part of. We get to build off what we learned in class and then really apply it to like the outside world. And it's great for seeing like what a future job could be like in the environmental field. Plus, the chance to restore a piece of your childhood to its former glory. Until next time, when saints go marching.